tell all of us. And that kid's been troubled to me from the day he was born. You lie! Right. You just better not say anything bad. That kid's part of it. You know what I mean? That little boy, Bobby, he's alive. There. He's buried there. Sometimes people start out loving each other, and then they stop. Does that mean sometime you're gonna stop loving me? yours now. What's it look like? Four hours ago when we got the call, it looked like a lost kid. Now, you tell me. Been over the territory? Fifteen guys on motors, working in ever-widening radius. Guys in a squad car out looking in the bushes, talking to all the neighbors around here. And? Kid's still gone. Let's go. Yes. They'll keep looking for Bobby Wood, but after the first few hours, we add detectives to the search. Well, we have to explore every possibility. Like, for example, is there anybody who'd want to harm your son, Bobby? Oh, no. Uh, everyone loves Bobby. He's no trouble at all. Is there anybody who'd want to hurt you or your wife? You think he was kidnapped? Well, that's ridiculous. Bobby just... Mr. Montrose, you're the president of a big plastics manufacturing company. You have a beautiful house here. You have lots of money. You drive a nice car. Why not? Harold... He may be right. You know how pe people are these days. All right. So somebody thinks we have a little money. Well, uh, don't they usually call or send a note or something? Excuse me. Uh, anybody got a picture of the boy? What? I, I say a recent picture of Bobby. Oh. Yeah. Claire? Oh. Oh, I want to ask you about enemies. Business enemies. Of personal enemies. Me? Yeah. Well, anyone in business has enemies, but like this, no. Uh, you saw Bobby out on the street on your way to work, is that right? Yeah. This morning, I saw him and I told him to get inside, and since day he learned to walk. I tell you, he's been at everything. And he was wearing blue pajamas? Uh, yes, the type with the little feet in them. Mm -hmm. When did you first miss him? About 10 o'clock, uh, when I woke up. She got up early. I sometimes have trouble falling asleep at night, so I, I sleep in late. At 12 o'clock. Now look at her. She hasn't even gotten dressed yet. Look at you. If you'd gotten up, well, Bobby would be still here now. Well, you're such a good little boy. He'd get up and play, and um, he'd eat cornflakes and, and play. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's her name? The maid, what's her name? I've got it. It's Louise. Yes, Louise, our, our maid. The one I fired last week. You have bad feelings about her? Yeah, I had bad feelings. I fired her. You have an address on her? You bet I do. Where's that? Here it is. Louise Mason? Louise Mason. Mason. Uh, here we are. Right, that's right, right here. This is it. This, this one.
Looks a little like my boy when he was this age. Well, let's see here. Van Norman Dam isn't far from here. I'm sending scuba guys over there. Now, I want you guys to divvy up this area, talk to everybody, see where it goes. What about the maid? Metro's checking her out. That could be our best shot. Child molesters. CII's computer's gonna have a choice selection over here very soon. Meantime, you shag, you get. My boys are both in school, kindergarten and second grade. They'll be home soon. My little guy plays with Bobby. It's his chance to be big brother. And Bobby's over here a lot? Oh, he's everywhere, up and down the street, around the corner. Bobby was the first person we saw when we moved in. He was sitting on the curb, waiting for the moving men to unload. Like a goodwill ambassador, huh? Like a stray dog. <sighs> if they'd... If they'd beaten him or abused him, then we could have complained and called you people. But they didn't. Oh, those parents didn't know if he was alive half the time. I used to give him milk and crackers, you know, a, a snack. And the lady over there would feed him lunch. Well, that's sad, Mrs. Bowman, but uh, it's not a... I know. It's not a crime. Right. There, you see? Oh, Bobby used to love to sit over there, and, and he'd ask questions about this chicken. And he'd say, how did it ever get like that? Well, thank you very much for your time. Officers? I hope you don't think I'm just the neighborhood gossip, but, uh, oh, Bobby's such a nice little boy. Yes? He almost died once. Did you know that? Nobody's looking. Kid gets into the medicine cabinet, pops off a couple of loose caps, starts gobbling up the pretty colored pills. Colored pills, huh? Thanks, Doc. Thanks for your help. Look, anything special about this one? Pumped his stomach. We were in plenty of time. The only thing special was the mother. How's that? She was at the hairdressers when the kid did it. I remember. We located her there, called her, told her the kid was going to be okay. She said, terrific, she'd be right over. As soon as she'd finished under the dryer. There she is, mother of the year. The pool looked a hell of a lot cleaner then. When were these taken? Eight, nine months ago. Well, that was just after they had the pool put in. Something about that guy bugs me. There's a lot about that guy that bugs me. Never trust a guy on a diving board with a ball and a drink in his hand. $60 bathing suit that never got wet. How old was the kid? Three, three and a half? I don't know. These are the last pictures they took of him. I guess there was a time they paid more attention to the kid. Guess again now. It's not the kid he's taking pictures of. It's a pool. Taking pictures of their new toy before they lose interest in that one, too. to be in the neighborhood? Sort of. Beware of men bearing gifts. Well, it's usually Greeks. Uh, I got a present for Mike here. Coast clear? Yeah, come on in. He's down the street playing. All right. Look, uh, where can I hide this? Uh, yeah, as sure, <laughs> good as any. I... Thank you. I have the feeling this means you won't be coming to his party. Well... You're always a pretty good guesser, Phyllis. No, I got something bad going down this time. I got a kid who disappeared. The one on the news? Yeah, I guess so. Look, I feel real bad about not coming to the party, so... Duty uh... calls. Have a drink. Look, aren't you in the middle of something? Oh, come on. Stay a minute. Have a drink and fix me one, too. What would you like, Phyllis? 
Oh, have some, uh, I'd like some white wine. But they say it isn't cold. Did you get some ice in the refrigerator? I remember where the ice is, honey. You're kidding. Glass? Yeah. Is he excited? Well, you only had to be nine once. Oh, I didn't tell you we got a citation. Yeah? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Good, for citizenship. Number one citizen in the fourth grade. Your son. Just don't want to go to his head, that's all. Is Dad here? Big fella, how you doing? Saw your car. You gonna eat dinner with us? Uh, no, I'm not. I, um, I just stopped to <laughs> drop off a present. Big surprise for tomorrow. Your father's got to work tomorrow. Right, but I'll be back on Sunday, all right? And we're going to have a heck of a day. We're going to we'll do something special. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but uh, it'll be like having two birthdays in one week. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. Come on in. I uh, understand it has to do with car insurance? Well, it has to do with a car, Mr. Morrissey. This is Detective Jonas, and we're here on an investigation. We have a report that an automobile with a license plate similar to yours was seen in the West Valley early this morning. You know, you guys ought to get together and come up with a new story. That one's pretty tight. Nobody saw my car any place this morning. You got my name out of your files. Then you looked up my license plate so you could come in here and make conversation. What you really want to know is where I was, right? You're a registered sex offender. And that means that every time somebody pats a little kid on the head within 50 miles, you guys come knocking on my door. That was years ago. I was a kid, just a mixed up... Look, I was punished. I paid my debt to society. I've been treated, years and years of therapy. I've got a good job here. I'm not the same guy anymore. About the car. My car was being serviced in the garage. It's still there. Station right down on the corner. You can check. And I was in San Francisco on a business trip. I came back on the noon flight. Do you want to see my ticket? Mr. Morrissey, we're sorry to have bothered you. Sure. But when does it end? I don't know, buddy. Look, if you had our job, where would you begin? <laughs> 